Uh, we know he's in his 70s, so he's a very low-key Nebraskan. Uh, he's a church elder at his church. Uh, he's given away millions and millions of dollars anonymously through his family foundation. But really, he's taken a brand that he took from his father, uh, fashionable designer jeans. Uh, they do not, the buckle does not keep stores in urban areas. So they have okay. uh, more than 400 stores. Most of them are in suburban or sort of rural areas. Right, so if you lived here, you wouldn't be terribly familiar yeah, with this I, I, I didn't know what the buckle was at all when we uh, started talking about this last week, and we saw this huge sur surge uh, in the stock. And so, um, you know, they've been able to do it relatively low key, but obviously uh, uh, their sales have been surging and so is their stock. So, why has that been happening? Um, well, really, they, they have this interesting business model where they keep things out in, in the rural areas. They also turn over their product line very quickly, so they're able to, um, you know, if, if a gene is doing very well in one area, they're able to flood that market and, mm -hmm. and continue to move those products over. And so, uh, you've seen this huge surge in retail overall as the economy's expanded, and that's why we've seen so many billionaires be created. Well, Matt, it's a, right, exactly, because several of the billionaires we've talked about recently have been in retail. That's right. Why is this? Well, you see this economy expanding, and so um, as, as consumers are willing to spend more of their disposable income, especially on luxury or uh, semi-luxury goods, so you've seen Dolce & Gabbana become hidden billionaires uh, come out as um, their company has, has soared in value. You've seen Tory Burch um, and the deals She's that they were able to cut. Tory yeah. Burch has been able to. And then you saw Amancio Ortega last year pass Buffett. He, of course, has seen his fortune recede a little bit. And do they all, is it also because they retain a significant stake in their companies that's as right. well? So, They're all pretty uh, smart uh, about uh, doing uh, that? Yes. The the more equity you hold in a company, the more likely sure. you're going to be able to become a billionaire because as you see those uh, 20, 30% gains, uh, that really has a material value on your paper well.